It's amazing the way the community has come together and um, we pride ourselves in helping the community. It's been bred in us since we were hired at the Sheriff's Office, the community first, community first. And uh, I just wanted to look past that traffic stop for this family and I think it, it's turning out pretty well for them. It's, it's just overwhelming. I'll introduce them to you. This is Bernardo Perez. This is Ariana Perez. Bernardo Perez Jr. and Brittany Perez. And this is Master Deputy Jay Hodge. If you would like to say something. Ms. Perez. I just want to say thank you so much to the Sheriff's Office. Um, I did not know that they were capable of doing such great things for the community. I really do hear such awful horror stories and things that are going on, but it's not like that at all. I really didn't anticipate anything like this. They've helped me out so much. My situation is pretty bad, um, but it is getting better. So I just thank them very much. Um, I thank Deputy Riser. He's made such an impact on my son, Bernardo. Um, he's the sixth grader this year, and he actually has straight A's, so he's doing great. My daughter's a fifth grader, and she has straight A's too, so they're doing wonderful. Um, they do have pink hair. They're celebrating Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Everybody, we lost a family member very near and dear to us for breast cancer. Um, so we'll be out there at the walk, the 28th, at Emily Arena, with our pink. And we'll be representing the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office too, because this is absolutely amazing. And I thank everybody for everything. This has been awesome, 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 awesome. I'm sorry to interrupt. Thank you for sharing. Can you tell us a little bit about what was going through your mind during the, the, the first part of the traffic stop? Were you a little like, has this gone from bad to worse this whole time? Absolutely. Day? I thought it was the worst day ever. Um, me and my son had spent quite some time arguing in the morning. Um, and when I got pulled over, all I could think was, was awesome. I just got pulled over and now here's probably like a $200 ticket at least. I don't have a job right now. I just had surgery. My husband's working very, very hard to try to take care of everything for us. And I know as, you know, one person working and trying to support a whole family, it's, it's definitely not easy. So I was like, how am I going to tell my husband I just got a $200 ticket, really, is what I was thinking. Um, but that wasn't the case. It wasn't the case at all. Um, the kids, they look awesome. And, you know, it, thanks to the sheriffs and thanks to also Target, it's amazing. It's amazing. This has been, a, you know, your smiles now, but this is an emotional time for you. Is it? Is it? Is this kind of, you know, helping you out? I think it's helping greatly. I think it's helping not only um, as far as materialistic wise with the clothes and the, you know, the backpacks and the gas and all the things that we needed, but it's also helping emotionally as well because it shows that, you know, there's good out there and that there's people that actually do care about one another and people that genuinely just want to see people do better. Um, I think it's definitely made an impact on my son um, as far as the way he thinks about, you know, about going to school and about, you know, his, his as far as a mentor, I think Deputy Riser is his new mentor. <laughs> so I think it, it really just changes his outlook on so many different things as far as, you know, I don't have clothes to the next morning you have you have a wardrobe and it, that's not a problem anymore. Now I can wake up and I can just go to school, you know? So it's more about people treating people well. Absolutely. It definitely has a lot to do with just genuine people treating people the way that people should be treated, humanity. You know, it really doesn't even have to do with money or finances. It really needs to be how people treat one another, definitely. That ticket probably would have had a great impact. Um, I would say surely it would have caused a lovely argument between me and my husband, definitely. Um, it probably would have, uh, it could have definitely made me lose my vehicle, you know, um, because if I had to pay a ticket, well then I may not be able to make a payment on the vehicle. Um, you know, it, it can cause me to not be able to pay the insurance. It, it can lap so many things over, you know, rent. I know right now I was evicted and I am staying with my mother-in-law, so we still have to pay bills there as well, too. So it's, it, it would have meant a lot. <laughs> because you were already in a tough situation. I'm already in a very, very hard, hard situation. I feel like I'm kind of caught in between a rock and a hard place, and it just would have gotten worse, Bernardo surely. Junior, would you mind stepping up? Tell us why you were upset that morning. I was upset because I didn't have a lot of clothes to go to school and some kids at school like mess with me 
about like what I wear and stuff. How does that feel? It makes me feel like sad and emotional and stuff. Yeah. It makes me feel sad. You were really upset when you guys were in car. Why? I didn't have clothes and we were just arguing back and forth. I'm not, I don't know. When you found out about coming to Target and being able to shop and get all this stuff, t tell us what that felt like. I thought that felt amazing. Like, I was like, what? Why? I, I was like, it was just like weird. I was like, why would they do this? Like, why? I don't know. It was just weird to me. What was it like to have them come visit you uh, over, you came to school at lunchtime, right? How'd that feel? That was awesome. That, that was fun too. I got, so, I got to see his motorcycles and everything. It was just so cool. And, um, and that you said that you were having some issues with some of the other kids at school. So what was it like to have a couple of terror stepping on your motorcycles roll up on you? <laughs> I, ever, I, w once I was in class and this and my teacher said to go to the student affairs office, everybody was like, ooh, I was like, nothing's bad. I'm like, nothing's gonna happen. And so I went and it was just so cool. They gave me, they got me McDonald's. And what did the other kids think? What did they say to you? They were like, what? What? I want to do that? What? Nobody's messing with you now, are they? No. <laughs> <laughs> Got some good friends. And what what do you think now about the what do you think now about the deputy? How how, how do you and him get along? We're friends. Yes, we are. <laughs> and what would you like to say to him? I mean, or, or you probably already told him, but, but what have you told him? Or if you haven't, what would you like to say? Thank you. Awesome. You're welcome. You can give me a hug. <laughs> You're doing a good job, buddy. You're doing a good job. Thank you. So one last question for mom. You watching your speed now? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and medians. <laughs> yes, I'm watching it. Master Deputy, could, could you just kind of, um, I guess one last question for you. Yes, sir. Like, where, what was that moment for you in your head? You, you stick your head in the car and you, you figure out kind of what's going on. Well, I know myself and every other motor unit and every deputy for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, we never stop a car with the full intention of what we're gonna do with that vehicle before we even stop it. Everything comes into play, the surroundings. Obviously, when I approached the vehicle, they were very upset. It was something past that traffic stop. I'm sure she was just distracted. They were having a, a disagreement. As soon as I walked up to the vehicle and realized that it wasn't a domestic issue, that it was more or less him being sad and. I just went into instant, I guess dad mode is what, what I call it. I mean, I can relate, you know, I have a son. So once I saw that, I just went away from the traffic stop. I, I clearly, I would never issue that citation. I don't think there's a deputy in Hillsborough County that would have issued that citation at that point. And I just had an overwhelming urge to help them. I mean, I, it, it's sad knowing that there's children still today. I know we're really big in the Boys and Girls Club and that's really near and dear to every deputy sheriff you'll see in Hillsborough County, especially. So to see that and be able to make that positive impact, it was really great. How important is making that impact? And you know, obviously, I'm sure mom and dad appreciate it, but for yes. the kids to kind of have an understanding of it, you know, to be pulled over isn't yep. the end of the world. You're not going to jail. Yeah. You know, all I could say to the general public that are watching this, you know, when we get behind you, keep in mind we have no idea who you are. We're pulling you over for a reason. Most of the time, the person doesn't even know why they're being pulled over. When we approach your vehicle, our intention is not just to come up, get your ID, go back to our vehicle or motorcycle, and write you a ticket. We're trained to get, I mean, we interact with you. We, we try to look past the traffic stop. We don't just look past the traffic stop for criminal stuff to try to put people in jail. Like in this case, we look past the traffic stop and we saw someone in need and we came together as a family and did the best we could with Target and went above and beyond to try to help them because they really needed the help. I just want to say that's absolutely true. Rather than saying, do you know why you've been pulled over? He said, what's wrong? I've never heard that before from any officer. And I haven't been pulled over many times. Let me just let you know. <laughs> but, but for the time that I have or twice or whatever it has been, I've never heard that. It's never been what's wrong. You know, how are you doing? What, what's going on? It's always been, do you know why you've been pulled over? And that's it. And he actually had a genuine wanting, you know, just urge to know what exactly was going on with us. He didn't 
he didn't seem angry he didn't seem nasty he was just very very nice and calm and wanted to know what was going on it was really interesting thank you i think that says it yeah well done can we get the spelling of everybody's name full name yes at the, at the mic, mic. yeah oh. It's Deputy John Hodge. It's H A J J. Brittany Perez, B R I T T A N I. Perez is P E R E Z. My my daughter is. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Ariana. And it's spelled A R Y A N N A. Perez. Oh, my name is Bernardo. It's spelled B E R N A R D O, P E R E Z. My name is Bernardo as well, same spelling. How old are the kids? Uh, he is 11 10. and she's 10. They're the same age, two weeks every year. They're Irish twins. <laughs> Major Deputy, could you give your name and spelling yeah. really quick? I'm sorry. Deputy Donnie Riser, D O N N I E R I Z E R. John is J O H N. Yeah, J O H N. We're both master. Stay right there, guys. We're both master. Thank you guys. Right Thank y'all for putting the story out. Thank you so out. much. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Come, Come on. Yeah. Put it there. <laughs> Give me a We just met. Give me a hug. Come on. Give me a hug. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'll play the ball. I'll put my too. I didn't want to leave you out from us. We're happy to be able to do We're happy to be able to do Yep, absolutely.